North Korea has confirmed that the regime fired two ground-to-ground -ground missiles yesterday. The area of launch, though, is not their usual choice for test fires, and experts regard this as the North sending a bigger warning to the South and the U.S. Here's our defense correspondent Kim Yeon-sung with some analysis. North Korea's state-run media confirmed on Wednesday the launch a day earlier of two surface-to-surface -surface missiles. The regime's party-run newspaper Norong Shinmun said that a missile unit on the west coast test-fired two missiles in mid-range from Changyeonggun County of Hwanginamdo province. The missiles traveled more than 600 kilometers to directly hit their target, Pido Island in Cheongjinshi, Hamgyeongbukdo province. Changyeonggun County in Hwanginamdo province is not North Korea's usual choice for a weapons test. They usually fire from farther north. But experts say that they have moved a little farther down the map to send a more threatening message to South Korea and the U.S. I think uh, uh, North Korea tries to show that their missile capabilities are sufficiently mature and powerful enough uh, to put uh, any part in South Korea within reach of these missile threats. The distance of 611 kilometers is a length that can reach beyond Korea's southernmost island of Jeju. From the photos released, experts suspect the launch firearm to be KN-23, a solid-fuel short-range ballistic missile that's designed to fly at a lower trajectory, shortening flight time. It could be more threatening than other tactical guided weapons, like the liquid-powered Scud and Lodong missiles, as it's harder to track and easier to load. Unlike the previous missiles, it doesn't draw a normal trajectory, but performs various anomalous maneuvers to avoid interception. It's much more threatening and difficult to defend against. However, there's a chance that North Korea could be lying about the success of the launch, as a news report did not include visual evidence of the missiles directly hitting their target as it did with previous successful cases. This whole Washington joint military drills, meanwhile, went on for a third day, even as North Korea stepped up its weapons tests in protest. With more than a week still left to go, experts see North Korea continuing to ramp up its provocations in the coming days. Kim Yansin, Arirang News.